Taylor Swift song. So finally, after years and years, decades actually, after decades of waiting, I've finally got my hands on a Nikon F4. But does she work? So back in the day, I was shooting Minolta. I had a 300mm 2.8 Minolta lens and various other Minolta lenses. Always wanted the Nikon F4 to change my lens system, everything else on top of buying the Nikon F4 at the time was just cost prohibitive. So I ended up getting the Minolta Dynax 9 camera, which to be honest with you, I've still got to this day, still use it, and I do not regret that purchase one bit. Absolutely love that camera. But I always fancied, always fancied this. I've shot Nikon DSLRs, starting with the D1H, which I killed unfortunately. Uh, my own fault, and then I replaced that with a Nikon D3S, which is still going strong to this day. I use it on a regular basis, and I cannot fault it. Love the camera. Never ever shot a Nikon film camera until now. Picked this one up on a local auction site. It was uh, it was advertised from an op shop, a thrift shop in New Zealand, and I picked it up for I think about three hundred and eighty dollars or something, which is. You know, that's New Zealand dollars, 380 New Zealand dollars, whatever that works out in your local currencies, I don't know. Sounds cheap to me. The, the people that were selling it obviously hadn't fully tested it. They looked at a few different bits and bats on the camera and said that as far as they could see, things were working okay. I bought the camera. No great expectations of it working 100%. These things are like bricks. They are just like solid bricks. So whether it's going to work or not, who knows. I've got some batteries in it. Everything seems to be working fine. I've put a roll of HP5 into it and I've shot maybe six frames at a local cricket match just to try it out, see what it does. Then I put the camera away for a while and I've just dug it back out again. Over the next 24 hours, we're just gonna burn this roll of film and then we'll, we'll have a look at the results. Now my last born, he's flying the nest this week. He's cutting the apron strings and he's, he's off doing his own thing. Uh, he's heading down to Wellington, around about a four hours drive away from here. So I'm gonna help him pack up his gear take him down there, drop him off, settle him in, and leave him to it. And I'm going to document his leaving with this stunning Nikon F4. It's pointless going through all the specs. It's just a, a camera that does everything that you ever want it to do. I'm going to set it up basically to shoot in aperture priority mode. I've stuck myself a little 50mm 1.8 lens on. Let's just hope that the results come out something like, because my God, I want this camera to work. I want it to work so badly. <laughs> Love you, Nikon. All right, let's crack on. chord would be an E minor but since that's on there it'd be a G sharp minor because it acts as like your finger So the package is delivered, safe and sound, tucked up in a new little bedsit. Didn't get to finish the roll of film, unfortunately, because uh, it was quite reluctant to pose. So it was a bit of a mission to get a few shots out of the boy. 
but uh, hey ho, I'm back on the road and I thought I'd just pull up here, I'll get a little bit tired, I've done about maybe six hours straight driving with a little bit of time offloading. So basically I'm going to try and burn off the film on the Teapati wind farm, which is a beautiful stunning place, unfortunately the clouds have rolled in big time, it's black and white film so I'm not too concerned, but a little bit of late light on the hills will just, uh, will just lift these pictures a little bit. I'd love us to get a little bit of light, but to be fair, I'm not sure we're going to get it. But that's okay, that's alright, this is just a test anyway. I have no idea if anything's going to come out of this. So far I've shot 25, 26, 27, around about 27, 28 frames. Everything on the F4 seems to be working a treat. The shutter's firing, the film's advancing. Things look to be going well. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful that this is a working, functioning, beautiful Nikon F4. It's getting towards the back end. We've got a little hope of sunshine. Is that going to deliver? Is that going to play ball? Come on. I don't think it is. Hells, I don't think it is. Well, I've just driven a little bit further down the road and we have got a little bit of light. Not a great deal, but I'm going to shoot it anyway. A little bit of pink colour in the sky. But on a roll of HP5, that ain't going to work. So uh, it is what it is. That has been a huge long day. Around about 13, 14 hours so far, including eight and a half, nine hours drive time, lots of stops in between, feeling shattered. But I cannot wait, I cannot wait to see what is on this roll of film. Uh, everything seemed to go really, really well, and I'm confident there's something on this roll. Please let there be something on. We're going to stick everything in the change bag, develop the roll of film, and we're going to see how that comes out. All right, final wash in here. The moment of truth. Fingers crossed, we have got something, anything on this roll of film. Jesus, a little bit nervous. I want this camera to be beautiful. Well, we've got something there. Let's see what we got. Oh my God. Well, first impressions, I can see plenty of what look like well-exposed images. Oh, Jesus. Now the last few frames, just to get, oh yes. Just to burn the film off, the last few frames, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five frames left. I just took some photographs of some of my old cameras. They look like they've come out well. I tell you what, oh, these have come out so nice. These have come out well. So 20 minutes in D76, one to three dilution. Oh, these have come out so well. Oh, we have got a fully functioning, beautiful Nikon D4. No, we haven't. We've got a Nikon F for you, fool. Oh, 36 frames on this roll. We've got 36 well-exposed images. I am so, so pleased. I cannot tell you how happy I am. All right, I'm going to stick these in the airing cupboard for the night. I'm shattered. Got to be sleep time now. It's going to be a happy, happy, satisfied sleep. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs>